Hello my lovelies, I want to do an ocean theme nail design and I want to be using some glitters that I bought recently from Timu which are these ones, they're more like flakes iridescent flakes and I have one in green and blue how pretty they are I've been dying to try these out so I'll be using that and as a base I'm going to use these acrylics by Mia Secret a green one I'm actually low on that one and then this gorgeous bright blue and I'm also going to be using clear acrylic by Super Nail and the monomer I'm going to be using is by Mia Secret I have my finger here I already filed the surface so it's ready to go and I'm going to be using my Kolinsky brush. It's a number... Oh, the number got erased. I think this is a number 10, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to do a, a like an ombre situation with the blue and the green first. I think I want the blue at the bottom and then the green on top. So I'm going to start with the dark blue first. And now I'm going to use the green one. Put that over here. It's like a mint green. Now this is, doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to apply the glitters on top. I just want a little bit of a base underneath. Something like that. And now I'm going to encapsulate everything. Or I can add the glitter as well. I think I'm going to do that. Let me open it up. Okay, so they're right here. I'm going to start with the blue glitter. I'm, I'm going to be using clear acrylic to pick up the, the flakes. Some of them are thick, so those I, I don't like. I just take it off. This looks so iridescent. I love it. So this is just going to be the background of what I want to do. I want to do like a sea themed nail with some fishes, corals, stuff like that. Which I haven't done since maybe two years I think. Look how beautiful those two shades. Okay so now I'm going to just cap that encapsulate that with clear acrylic the same one that I was using and it doesn't have to be thick because these flakes are very thin they're not bulky so the encapsulating it could be fine if it's very thin some of the chunkier glitters you have to do like a thicker layer of clear acrylic to really secure them so they don't file off when you're filing but these are not like that. These are fine if you just do a thin layer. Alright, this is dry. I'm going to be using this one. It's like an orange. It's like a very natural orange. I'm going to be using this green that I just created. And this orange. I'm going to start with this one first because I want to create like a starfish everything's going to be in 3D now let me switch brushes to one I have here that's really small I got this recently it's a number 4 but I don't think it's a number 4 because it's very very tiny it's by Legacy Nails I think this is more like a 2 I don't know why it says number 4 but here we go 
I'm gonna put it in the corner over here, trying to make it small because I wanna add more stuff to it. So I'm just gonna create the shape first, like the outline of how I want it to be. And then as I go, I perfect it. I'm going to try to stay in frame as well. It's very difficult. The good thing about starfish is that they, they're not perfect. The points are not perfect, so don't worry about that. I'm taking little tiny beads at a time. Bear with me, trust the process. <laughs> Now that I have the shape, I'm going to perfect the surface, make everything smoother. You could go ahead at this time and add some texture to it by poking it a little bit with a dotting tool. Very thin, the smallest one that you have and create some texture because they have that in the surface of the, the starfish. So while this is still wet, it's almost settling, go ahead and do that like that so i'm gonna move on to the grass underneath the ocean i forget what you call that i'm gonna be using this green for that i'm switching to another 3d nail art that's slightly bigger so i can use the green and i just want to put that over here starting at the bottom So I'm just going to do some swirls by pushing before it sets. I'm going to actually switch to this, to the smaller one. gonna add orange for a fish and probably use this one too as well I'm not sure
I'll add the details of the eyes and the scale later. Now I want to add another one of these around here somewhere. Okay, so for the details, I'm going to be using gel polish, which is going to be the white and the black. And I'm also going to use this tiny, tiny little brush. It's by VPP Art Brush, a Kalinsky brush, and it's double zero, which is the tiniest, tiniest little brush. And a dotting tool. So I'm going to add the eye. A little tiny eye. A little mouth. Clean my brush and we're going to the white just for some scales, tiny little scales. So I added some dots and I'm going to fully cure. Now you can top coat it if you want. Just add top coat all over the nail and cure it in the lamp or you can encapsulate it with clear acrylic that's what i'm going to do make sure the bead is very wet so it could get into every little corner Once everything is encapsulated, wait until it dries, file the surface, and then add the clear top coat. So here's the nail. I top coated with the Mia Secret No Wipe Top Coat. And this is how she's looking. I just love it. I love it because it, it seems like you're looking through something and there's something underneath, which is, that's what Down 3D is all about. I love that effect. I don't know if you can tell with the glare of the light but I just love how it looks like that I had fun doing this design let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video bye guys